Hello everybody, another episode of Core Wellness TV here with Dr. Steve and today I want to talk about something very important to do with your feet. We talked about the power of the feet in the past and how much afferent or input comes in through your feet to give your brain information about how to make decisions about where to bear your weight and what muscles to fire and, and it's just an orchestration of input and if you don't have input from your feet your afferents level or your input level drops and your ability to experience the world drops accordingly also not to mention it creates abnormal movement patterns and compensation patterns and overload patterns and pain and hip pain and back pain and you know I can't count on you know ten hands the amount of people that whose back pain was predominantly a function of poor foot function. So what I want to do today is show you uh, how Chinese medicine goes about activating the foot and it also has to do with staying young and it also has to do with the whole idea of spiraling which I've talked about in the past as well. We want to spiral up. That's what our posture is. Organically when we push away from our support points like we did when we were a baby we spiral into alignment. We spiral into perfect alignment. It's not that we pull our shoulders back. We actually spiral open. And we open like a flower would open. Or fern. Okay, something that opens like this, like a spiral. And that's what we do. And and this is how you're going to do it from a Chinese medicine perspective. Now I'm going to give a, a heads up about where I found out about this. And I always kind of knew about acupuncture from chiropractic school and I studied a lot of the meridians but some of that has faded as I've gone along and my friend Brandon from Hyperion Herbs posted a, a uh, actually a, uh, a body meditation that was based on this first kidney point called K1. It's the bottom of your foot and I'll post a, an area of where K1 is on the post below but if you took your foot and crunched it down, well right behind, under you two pads. Maybe I'll come up here. My feet are really wet and dirty here, but if I can get it up here. If you took your foot and you pushed it forward right in the crease right here between the two pads, right there, K1, okay? Also called the bubbling spring because that's where the, the kidney meridian is the water element, right? And when you connect your K1 or your bubbling spring to the ground, automatically you'll feel a awareness of your intrinsic foot muscles start to activate. And maybe even create a little bit of an arch that you have lost. Because over time, our arches start to crash for most people. So it's an awareness. It's a way, it's a, it's a way also not only to activate the kidney meridian and the water meridian, gland, which is the fire meridian. So when Chinese medicine, we don't want to burn up using our stress and adrenal glands is burning everything up and the water is cooling everything down, putting out the fire. So it's a good way to think about that is the more you can activate that bubbling spring and let the water flow through you. Because youth is water, right? Youth is about being hydrated. But what's older, a grape or a raisin, right? The grape loses its water, turns into a raisin. The raisin is so we want to think about water, we want to think about you, we want to think about this bubbling spring. Really connecting that bubbling spring to the ground, preferably to the earth, preferably to a rock. Okay? So you can feel the energy of that movement coming up through you. Or even better, get in a spring, a bubbling spring. Get in the water where the rocks on the bottom of the water in the river or something and feel that energy of the water coming through you. And what you'll see is when you activate that bubbling spring, there'll be a spiral of activity that goes through your system. You'll feel things just automatically start to open up. If your posture is forward, when you connect your bubbling spring, automatically everything will go where it's designed to go. This is the same philosophy I've been talking about over and over again, is finding your support points and pushing away from them turns on your internal spiral of power, which is your organic posture, so you don't have to think about doing repetitions of 20 
uh, rows and things like that. This is artificial man-made posture. This is military posture, chest up. That's not how infants develop posture. That's not how you developed your posture. So why would you do something that's man-made when you can have it God-made, right? So you're gonna push away from support point, connect your bubbling spring, and feel the power that goes through you. Now one caveat here is you might be tempted to squeeze your tush or squeeze your glute muscles whenever you do this. I want you to feel that spiral come through your hips without squeezing your butt muscles. We want to turn on the deep, intrinsic, intentional muscles. This is very, very under the radar activity. Okay, so again, connecting your bubbling spring, feel the spiral or the external rotation go through your body and be filled with water and get your kidney meridian back on track and maybe we'll put out the fire that your stress has encountered in your life. And to boot, you'll find less pain and more a better sense of youth and vitality. So try that one out. Please let me know what that feels like to you or if you have any pain or discomfort that comes up as a result of trying that. I think you'll find it very powerful and thank you Brandon for reorienting my brain back into bubbling spring. See you next time.